Welcome to Woodworking with Wes. We've just demonstrated a hinge boring machine. Drills the holes for the hinges that go in the back side of your door for the hidden hinges. This is a great machine to have in a cabinet shop, especially if you do big jobs like I do sometimes with 50 doors. You've got to drill all the holes on the back of the doors. The one thing about this machine is it's an expensive machine. You can spend $2,500 or more depending upon the options for a hinge, like, a hinge machine like this. We're going to show you how to replace it with just a $5 jig and a drill press. Okay, to build this jig, you just need a scrap piece of plywood and a piece of solid material. This is a one by three. And I'll show you how we start. We start by marking a center line. We're gonna mark a center line across and down, and then we're gonna attach this on to our board. Let's do that first. We've marked a line on our board and a return line down the face of it. We've also made a mark across our plywood and we're going to line those up just like this. We're going to make our wood, fl our solid piece flush to the back side of our plywood so that everything lines up square and we're just going to nail this on with some 18 gauge nails. And there's basically the jig. Now it's setting it up on the drill press that is the next thing. Now you notice that we drilled the holes and we're going to use those to line up our jig. We have our board attached, we have our lines drawn. This is the drill bit that we're going to be used. This is a boring bit for the hinge pocket and we're going to mount that so that it sits there. We've checked our instructions from our hinge company and we need to be 7 8 out to the center and this has a little center brad right here so we're going to line up 7 8 of an inch to that brad point right there. So we're going to give a little mark on our uh, line here 7 8 of an inch right there and we're going to mount our jig to our drill press so that this lines up exactly 7 8 of an inch. So let's check that and do that now. We've got our jig mounted on our drill press with only one clamp so that we can move it and adjust it so that our point right there lines up with the spot that we've made on our jig. So let's spend a little bit of time and try to get that lined up. You can tell right now we're a little off. So let's See if we can get a little closer, right about, in fact, right there. Let's put a clamp on it, tighten it down, get a clamp on the other side. Now we're just a little off. Let's uh, move that a little bit. You might have to drill some test holes to make sure, so let's do just that. Let's drill some test holes, see where we are. Okay. Remember, we wanted to be 7 8 to the center. We're more like 15 16 So we're too far back with our backboard. Make sure we're still lined up on our line. Yes, we are. And let's try another test hole here and see how we line up again. We're better, but still not there. One more test hole. Let's try it again. Ah! 
I think we're just right. Let's bring that board, or that, let's bring this hole that we drilled on the machine and see how we line up according to the machine. If everything's right, we should fit right in there. Well, we're not. We're off just a little. We're a little too far in. Now, you might not have the opportunity to have a boring machine to say you, mat say you matched up, so um, you might have to try this several times, putting a hinge in there, making sure your hinge works correctly. But once you're set up and once you get it worked out, um, and it takes a little bit of time, then you can move right through with your hinge boring very quickly. Let's just test it one more time here. And we're still just a little off. There we are. Like I say, if you don't have a hinge boring machine, you're going to have to, to use your, your measurement and check with a, a hinge that's mounted to make sure you've got it right. But let's go ahead and drill a hole. Just like that. Now, the other thing we need to do is depth. A hinge pocket hole is a half inch deep, typically. So let's make sure that we're set up for a half inch deep. Okay, we now have our hole lined up exactly where it's supposed to be, and it cuts directly where we want to. One other thing I'm going to show you to do, just so that it's easier to set up next time. Turn your drill press on. By making a shallow little cut in your jig, next time when you go to set it up, all you got to do is line up to the hole that you've cut in your jig and your jig's all set up. That's there. It's easy to do. You don't have to do all the measuring and pushing around like I did because it'll be the same every time on your line and the distance here is the same. And so all you have to do every time you set up your jig on your drill press, clamp it down, is just make sure that your bit lines up with the template that you already have. Now, when it comes time to cut your doors, cut your holes in your doors, I'm going to show you how to go real fast, real quick. I put my hinges four inches from the top and four inches from the bottom of the door. If you'll measure from the line that we made here, four inches up and put a stop block like that, you can screw and clamp this stop block so it doesn't move. You can drill one half of all your doors all at once. Then turn around and take your stop block, put it back here, again, four inches from your hole, and cut all your others. And it goes real fast. You can do all half, half of your doors all at once, then turn around and do the other half. And it's much faster than, than the jigs that you can buy, the, the factory jigs that you can buy, that you do one hole at a time by clamping it to the door. Once you get this set up, you can speed through a set of doors pretty fast. And it really is a way to um, make your hinge boring easy and inexpensive. Like I say, it's nice to have that expensive machine. It's pneumatic. It's a real uh, uh, time saver. And, and it's great. But sometimes you don't have room. Sometimes you don't have money. Here's a way to beat that to get started. I used this system for years before I had the money and the space in my shop to buy a hinge machine. This is a great little addition or jig trick to use in your shop for your hinge boring to help get you started on your cabinet production. I just want to thank you very much for watching today as we we show some of the tricks that can be done in a cabinet shop and, and ways to help you become more efficient in your work. Um, it's a great way to get started and get started cheap. Again, 
Thanks very much. Thanks for watching Woodworking with Wes.